Okay, so welcome to another video. Today we're making WCA, Korean Natural Farming recipe for calcium. You can use it for your plants when they're starting to set fruit. Plant needs calcium, you want to do it naturally, we're using eggshells. I have a huge bag here, most probably much more than we need. Uh, what we, I mean, for this we need a pan or some heat source and the pan on top. You're gonna roast the eggshells in the pan. In my case I'm using a paella burner, because we're in Spain. Got some rocks on it as wind protection. Uh, I use a paella pan because I have more surface area. Can make more of the eggshells, even though I'm not gonna use that much today. Uh, just a spatula to mix them around while you while you cook them and I use this plastic here, normally I cut name tags from it to air out the membrane that they have inside you can see the this membrane here we're gonna, when we heat it it's gonna come off and we want to get rid of it before we mix it with brown rice vinegar which is another ingredient you will need I have a few bottles here of brown rice vinegar we're gonna use put in a mason jar Put the eggshells at the bottom, roughly 1 to 10, doesn't have to be exact. Eggshells at the bottom, brown rice vinegar on top and then you let it sit for a few days. So we're gonna start with heating up and basically roasting our eggshells that I collected over quite a long time. There's a big bag here so we got enough to walk with. I'm gonna put the gas on. You can, best way is to do this outside because you you can, when you fan the, the eggshells, it's easier for you. you. You can do it in the kitchen as well, but it's just less of a mess if you do it outside. Pan is on top. Getting some heat already. I'm gonna start putting the eggshells in, crush them. Starting to fan off the membrane already, just by the wind that we get today. Natural fanning of the eggshells here. Okay, I think for now this should be okay. Put the eggshells to the side and start moving them. I'm getting quite some color already. I might just turn the heat down a bit. Pile up and burners are really good, so you have to be quick to move them because they create a lot of heat if you have them turned up quite a bit. You want to roast them to the point where they have a nice even tan, all of them. Inside, outside have an equal tan, almost like a golden color. And always keep moving them so we don't get any hot spots. You know it should be quite good on this pan because you have one burn on the outside, one burn on the inside, so it's quite equal, equally spread heat in here. You can make this in a smaller pan as well obviously, you can make it 
on a smaller scale if you don't have a big garden and you just need a bit of calcium use this on all plants you can use the calcium as a foliar feeding as well them up a bit get small chunks so it's easier for it to mix with the vinegar later and settle at the bottom nicely actually the wind which is a problem for the burner is great for fanning the membranes, as you can see, the membrane of the eggshells are flying off just like no problem at all. So I think I don't even need to manually fan today, like this. Normally it would go around and you see you fan off all the membranes. I think today I almost don't need that because the wind is quite helpful. Not for the gas burner, that's why I got the stones around it, but it's helpful for the to fan off the membranes of the eggshells I will do the whole series of Korean natural farming. This is one of the recipes for me, which is a great technique to use organic or make your own organic fertilizers, make your all, all organic products for your garden. All very cheap, you don't need a lot of money. It's perfect if you have a large scale garden because you can save a lot of money. Fertilizers are very expensive and it works extremely well. They have different recipes, I'm going to make all the video series from this perspective so you can see it first person how to do it. Try to give you all the information that you need to do it yourself. And you can start your organic garden at home with very little money and get great results from your plants, your vegetables, any kind of plants. You can apply this to any type of plant. And while you mix it, you, you will see it breaks up more and more and naturally because the eggshells are very brittle and they get more and more brittle when they get heated I'm gonna fan a bit now, there's no wind you can see all the membrane flying off we don't want to have the membrane in the mixture, we just want the raw eggshells fan fan the membranes away, you can see them here everywhere flying around This year, on, uh, probably in September, October, it's not, the dates are not set yet. We're gonna do an, an organic garden, gardening uh, workshop here in Spain. If you're interested in that and want to spend some time in the mountains and learn how to make all these things and see it firsthand, how to use it, you can, you can check out my Instagram. I will post about it in the stories. We'll also make a post about it on my profile so you can see if you're interested in that want to make it yourself we're gonna make all the Korean natural farming ingredients for your garden we're gonna do FPJ fermented plant juice we're gonna make F FJ fermented fruit juice we're gonna make lactic acid bacteria lab we're gonna make this one WCA water soluble calcium from eggshells we're gonna make all the basics you need to get your organic gardening started on a on a budget and a very efficient way because the Korean natural farming technique works really great. Many people are using it with great success. 
And like I said, this is a very cheap option for your garden. It's perfect for organic gardening. It works great. The plants will love it. You can take your garden to the next level with this. And also make it sustainable because you're using products from your area. You're not gonna buy anything really. Or almost not gonna buy anything. Now you see it's getting there. It's getting very brittle. It looks nice. So I'm gonna be back in a second and then we'll see if we get some nice tan here of these eggshells. I'm using brown rice vinegar. I actually found it here. You need, need to find a shop that has it really, but you will find it, no problem. It works great for it, gives it a good reaction. I'm gonna break them down a bit more here. All happens naturally while you turn it. I press the spatula on it a bit like this. So you break it off. It gets more and more brittle, it gets easier. And see how the structure changed already. For this mason jar I'm using today, this will be more than enough. If I have some left over, I put it in another mason jar, but I, I'm only making this batch today. It, it will sit for, yeah, let's say five to ten days, five days ready to use, ten days just will dissolve more into the vinegar. So that will be the time frame roughly. So it's not, not a product that has to ferment for a long time or anything because there's no fermentation process. It's basically just the uh, eggshells reacting with the vinegar. Like I said before, foliar feeding, feeding your garden with it, feeding your soil with it, you can use it. Very high availability for your plants as well, it's, it's easy to go into your plants. If you have deficiencies, if you have calcium deficiencies, this is perfect. Make one, one stash of this, have it ready in your larva or whatever, and when you need it, you have it. And don't need to buy any calcium products or anything like that. You can just use this. It's perfect. It's actually the most efficient, most probably. Give it some heat here. Nice heat in there. You can still see a good portion of white actually, so they need to get a bit more of a tan going and then you're almost ready to mix it with the brown rice vinegar. So here we are back, got a spectator here, Leo, he's a pirate. You can smell the eggshells, I think. You can really get the, the smell from them. So here we're getting some hot spots now. So be careful to move it. You can see it's a bit black, but that's all good. As long as we don't burn the eggshells, everything is fine. Mix them up. You can see they get more and more of a tan color. Even the white pieces are getting a tan color. I'm gonna check what Leo thinks. What's your idea of the eggshells, huh? You like calcium, don't you? You like calcium, don't you? Yeah. I'll give this a few more minutes and then this should be ready to go into the vinegar. Simple as that. Take an afternoon on the weekend. Start collecting eggshells now. When you use eggs, just keep the shells. Put them in a the bag, like I did with this paper bag. 
still got a lot there to make more calcium, so this is only batch one. Plants are starting to flower now slowly in the garden. Had a slow start this season, but had a lot of rain at the beginning of the year, so the vegetable garden is late, but it doesn't matter because we should get good weather till at least October, I guess. And uh, so we still have time to do all these things. And when the plants are setting first fruits, they want calcium, so we're making this to support the plants. Leo is sunbathing. His favorite activity, right here. Yo. Nice sunny day. Bit of wind, no clouds. All very equally brown. Nice tan. Bit of light on the vital extras, but that's fine. Give it a few more minutes and we're good with this one. This bed should be ready to go into our brown rice vinegar. And then we're gonna fill it in our mason jar. Fill it up to about here. Comes to 1 to 10, roughly. Maybe a bit less because we only have 2 liters of vinegar, so... We're gonna do that now in a second. Is in here. Used a bit less because I don't have that much vinegar. Now I'm gonna add the brown rice vinegar to it. Actually, gonna remove this plastic. I can pour it a bit quicker. I can see some residue there from the pan, but that's okay. It's not too bad here. And get that in there. And you can see it's bubbling already. It's starting to react. got two liters of brown rice vinegar and you can see it's going crazy in here all bubbling away Let's see all the bubbles I mean, shifting this side. if you can see that properly but now it's reacting the extras are reacting with the vinegar see them flowing up, going down. And this is what you want to see. Twist here. It's bubbling and bubbling. This is going to get a paper towel lit now and then I'm going to put it in storage and let it sit, like I said, 5 to 10 days. I most probably give it for maybe 10 days, make sure everything is extracted, or 7 days, and then I can start using it. Okay, now I'm just going to put a paper towel on top here, you can see it's uh, bubbling away. 
reacting very nicely here. Eggshells are floating, going up inside the glass, the mason jar. I'm gonna put a paper towel on here, the rubber band. Tighten it up so nothing can get in. Put this in, a, in my larder now. Let it react there for, like I said, five to ten days. If you need it urgent, you can start using it after five days. The last step you will do is uh, you're gonna filter the content. So you filter the eggshells out. You can use them in your garden. Mix them into the soil. Maybe mix them into pots if you start growing new plants in pots. And you're just gonna have the clear liquid, which is the brown rice vinegar with the calcium in it. And you can bottle that either way. If you even want, you can put it back in here, label it WCA, and then you got your calcium ready. Ready to go and ready to use in the garden. So this is WCA. You can see it reacting there. Quite nice. You see all the bubbles there. And this will keep going and going and release all the calcium over time. And this is ready to use. Strain it after 10 days or however long you want to leave it, minimum five days. Strain it, bottle it, and there you go. You got your calcium. I have some eggshells left here. I'm gonna collect these and make another batch with more vinegar. That's pretty much it. There you go, you got your own calcium.